ETH equals Bitcoin, I look at the attributes of how it trades as an asset. And what I did is I looked at estimations of network effects and said, well, do they look similar? And, and I found that Ethereum was exactly mirroring Bitcoin. When I say exactly, when I look at it on a plot graph with the same regression, it looks similar. But because it started later, it just follows Bitcoin earlier. But in fact, its adoption, i.e. the number of wallets at this time, is actually a faster rate of adoption than Bitcoin had. But what's super interesting is when you go back and match them from 1 million active wallet addresses each, their prices are identical and their price movements have been identical. It's exactly currently in the 2017 wrap up that Bitcoin had. Everybody said they were dead, they were worthless. Bitcoin got down to about 100 and started rallying. ETH got down to 100, started rallying. That's weird. So I started at 8020. The Ethereum's gone up a lot more already. Um, and then I allocated more. So I'm like 60. 35, I bought a basket of alts. The alts world is a little bit wild and crazy. I just looked at ones that looked like they were getting network effects. I asked people on Twitter. I got six and a half thousand responses. So I could figure out, okay, what looks like they've got network effect here. I look at the charts and as long as they're a reasonable size market cap, I just took an equally weighted basket because I've no clue and I just don't have time to understand these in the depth that, you know, we've all had to learn Bitcoin in and we're all having to get up to speed with Ethereum in. I've got a mix from derivatives to DeFi to Dex. I mean, I've I purposely made a kind of relatively balanced basket. You know, it wasn't a totally random process, but it was just a, yeah, okay, some of that, some of that, some of that, um, to try and get an overall balance of the space. You know, I wanted interoperability. I wanted DeFi. Mm -hmm. I wanted um, fast payment ne networks. I wanted, you know, just different things, different protocols that al allow smart contracts and just got an overall basket of that.